Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer Year to kick off round two for group A. And we have this quartet of matches for this session. So, at first, we are going to see two newcomers, Gold going up against Conciliatory Past. Black Beauty taking on Asta, Sunlight Rabbit and Raybone going at each other. And as for our main event of this session, we have two winners of other people's tournaments in Crown Over and Dexit. So, let's not dilly-dally, let's get on with our first match of this session, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner for Gold, we have got Stegosaurus. Well, Gold had a very, very difficult start against Sunlight Rabbit. They really didn't get going and here's hoping they'll put in a better display this time. In the blue corner for Conciliatory Past, we've got Irritator. And well, Conciliatory Past couldn't have got off to a better start, claiming a surprise victory over Aster in round one. And it was on this field. This Super Trike did get terrain advantage in that matchup, and it'll have terrain advantage in this matchup. Oof. So, yeah, two newcomers here. Contrasting results in the first round, as we sh as we should say. And it's Irritate the getting off the cret and the warning effect. I have to say, so far, surprisingly impressed with Conciliatory Past's team. I looked at their team and I thought, mm, I think they're going to struggle in this tournament. But so far, they just do it. They're flying so far. Of course, it is still only one match. So, <laughs> bit early to say, but look at this. And Sunlight Rabbit is fe- No, not Sunlight Rabbit. And Gold is feeling the bruises again. Another slow start from Gold has put Conciliatory Pass 1-0 up. And in a bit of a pickle here because that Irritator is going to have type advantage over the Acro. Right, let's see what this Acrocanthosaurus can do. With five, three fire moves against that Irritator, it doesn't bode well if you're Gold. But this is a very strong start from Conciliatory Pass. Okay, this is the first shot of the match from Gold. It's a fire cannon. Well, we hardly saw what this Acro can do. Wow, Conciliatory Pass gets the warning effect again. Jeez! Whoa. I know, I mean, it's maxed up in attack boost as well, mine, but whoa. That is insane. Like, this Irritator is stacked. Ooh. No warning effect this time. It is a burning dash. Big burning dash from the acro. That could be just what gold needs to get back in this contest. <laughs> We've written guild it. Crikey. Right, coming in next. Four conciliatory pass. We got the Santa Now this thing was super impressive against Aster in round one. Dun 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 dun. So Gold is going to have to watch themselves, but Gold is coming back into this contest after a slow start. Ooh, but the Sancturus gets off that tail smash. Is that going to put Conciliatory Pass 2-1 up? Oh, it's not. The Acro barely survived. Oh, and it does get off another fire cannon. Well, they're losing, but this is a better showing from Gold so far in this match compared to round one. But they're still playing catch up. Oh, we've seen a fire cannon, we've seen a burning dash, and now we're going to see a firebomb. And this is going to get Gold right back in this contest. But remember, conciliatory pass. Oh, he killed it! Okay, well, I was going to go on to say Conciliatory Pass does have terrain advantage with this Super Truck. Well, we didn't see it awakened in the first matchup because it didn't need to. But, 
it's going to need to pull its weight this time. Because gold is right back in this contest. And we are pretty much level pecking. Well, we will be after this terrain advantage hit. Well, I'm sure if you're gold, the last thing you want to see is a Triceratops. Particularly an orange one. Particularly one with type advantage over your Amplosaurus. Okay, well the terrain advantage is gone, so... Don't need to worry about that. But doesn't need to worry about type disadvantage, so... Despite coming back into this conciliatory past, I still feel has the edge here. <laughs> and remember, the trike got the Awaken mode. Awaken mode on free, by the way. Ooh, that's a hit from the trike. Best one. Ooh, don't want to go paper. A tile soup triceratops down to the ground. Another tie. Well, that's the losing bonus point secured. And Ampelosaurus does get the next hit. It's a water sword. Okay, that's twice. Ooh. Hello, hello, hello. It's a dino swing. We will see a waker mode in this match, but... Oh, almost, almost, but I'll click it then. <laughs> a little bit tall, fusion. Oh, I guess it's all on this. I think a crit from Amplosaurus will not be default. Even with the hunter type effect bonus. Let's go for it. Ooh, doesn't get it though, it's a tie. Oh, it's an ocean panic. Voice went high. Is that going to be lethal for Triceratops? Because Ocean Panic's damage is set. So the Awaken Mode doesn't matter. I think this is lethal. Oh, it's not. And he doesn't get the effect either. Oh, man, that's mental. Conciliatory past. Hanging on there. But it's not going to get the win. The tie's not enough. And it is gold getting their first win of the tournament. Wow, that was a really intense match at the end. <laughs> well, conciliatory pass will get a losing bonus point, but you know, given how far ahead they were, you know, they might be kicking themselves here. But gold getting their first win of the tournament campaign. Right, on to our next match. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Black Beauty, we have got Super Eocock area. Last time out, Black Beauty secured a main event victory over Crown Over in round one. And they'll, they'll be looking to go two out of two in this matchup. Right, in the blue corner, representing Asta, we have got an Alpha Kentrosaurus, and well. It was a not a good start for Asta here, getting beaten by the newcomer conciliatory pass in the previous round. They'll be looking to bounce back here, but it is going to be tough against Black Beauty. And on this field, Bra Brachyceratops of Team Black Beauty will have terrain advantage. And his Blitz type as well, so that's going to be interesting. Ooh, Kentrosaurus gets the first hit on the board. It's a banana surprise. Okay, that's one. That's a tie. Ooh, this is a better start from Asta so far. Getting the two hits on the board, getting an early lead. But remember, this Eocarcaria does have the Awaken mode if he needs it. And he's going to get a chance at it because Black Beauty strikes back. Get the uh, Lily NQ going there as well. Not that it does much. Oh, hello. We gotta get, we've got the Flare Sword as well. Adding extra damage. A good strike there by Black Beauty. And look, look at that. One hit and we're level packing. Elementor, Fusion. Ooh, that's a tie, but that only suits Black Beauty. 
Oh, Asta does get the hit on the board. That could be a crucial hit, that. And yet again, we're level pecking. Ooh, but it is Eokarkiria getting our next hit. Take, giving Black Beauty the lead. Like, come on, what does that really do? <laughs> a pitiful amount of health. Right, coming in next, four. Asta, we got Megalosaurus. Now, Megalosaurus did do well in round one for Asta. Did get some big hits off. So I'm sure they'll be looking for it to get big hits off again, but it's going to be difficult for it because even if it do if it does get past the Eocarcaria, Brachyceratops comes in next with Terrain Advantage and this Blitz type. So it'll go for two crits in a row. Ooh, there it is. Down goes the Eocarcaria. And it's a zero G throw. Gonna eat him up here, eat him down there. Eat him everywhere. Oh, no! Ah, okay, coming in next for Black Beauty, we have got Brachyceratops, the Blitz type Brachyceratops. Now, because it does have terrain advantage, it will get the next hit, which will be a rock hit, and then it will go for its two crits, like normal. So Black Beauty is going to get the next shot in this match. So there it is. But Asta will have a good chance to land a crit here because, like I said, this Black, this uh, Brachyceratops is Blitz type, so it will go for two papers. Now, last time, I believe Black Beauty got off one crit and a Plasma Anchor. Oh, and he's getting the crit this time. With secret moves being triggered though, Megalosaurus will have type advantage, but it is losing a lot of health here. But one big crit from Megalosaurus can get Asta back in this match, but they can't get it. And instead, Black Beauty gets the hits. And now Asta is down to their third dino and, and in a bit of trouble here because... At third, we got Lambiosaurus Magna Crustatus, and it'll have type disadvantage against Black Beauty's third dino, so Black Beauty well on top in this match now. That blitz type effect has really turned the screw. So for, for us to get back in this match, they need to kill this Brachyceratops quick. Oh, that's a tie! But, oh, okay, no Plasma Anger. A relief. That's not though. That's another hit. And the more this Lambio Mag loses health, the easier it'll be for Ace to come in and finish it off if he needs to. Oh, the Dino Stuffer. A crit right when Aston needed it the most, but the Dino Stuffer is going to deny him. That was the big hit they, need they needed. But Black Beauty's having none of it. And instead, Black Beauty gets off a crit. That Dino Stuffer, man. It's brutal, our Dino Stuffer. Is it going to be a bonus point win for Black Beauty? I think it's going... Yeah, that's going to that's gonna be it. Brachyceratops going to get the kill shot. Oh! <laughs> but if Black Beauty doesn't win from you, then wow. <laughs> Oh, no, there it is. Down goes the Lambio Mag, and it is Black Beauty's bonus point victory. And as for Asta, well, it's not the start they wanted in this tournament, going 0-2. Right, let's move on to our third matchup, shall we? Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Sunlight Rabbit, we have got an orange Triceratops. The, the uh, normal orange Triceratops, that is. The one that never got a card in the arcade game. And well, it was very effective in round one for Sunlight Rabbit. I'm sure they'll be looking for the same in this matchup as well. But in the blue corner, representing Raybone, we have got the freak show itself. It's Paris. Paris Dino Tactor. And we are on the meadow field. So this Paris will have terrain advantage. 
which means Raven will get the first hit in this match. And it will be an egg attack. That could be helpful though. We'll fill up the Dino Tector bar. Maybe we'll see some more Dino Tector in this tournament. Yeah, I'll take this egg attack. Oh, I think this is the only egg attack user in the entire tournament. It's a move that we very rarely see playing in my tournaments. Um, a lot of people seem to favour Nature's Blessing or Two Platoon. But, you know, it's good to see egg attack get some love, especially around uh, Easter time. Well, it's long gone Easter now by the time this video is up, but still. Gotta cling on to it, I suppose. Ooh, there's a banana surprise here from Sunlight Rabbit. Good response from that early hit. Whee! Boosh! Oh, and the move removal effect has taken place. Which means that Sunlight Rabbit will be going for rock. Oh, and getting the hit as well. That's the lightning strike. The iconic move of the orange Triceratops. Oh, look at that! Paris Dino Tector! Don't know what hit her. Ooh, that's a crit. And that would be a big crit because it is super impact. Now, I don't think this will lethal the Triceratops, but it will fill up the Dino Tector. Boosh! Oh, look at this! Oh, hang on. It's a Fawn Whip. It is going to be lethal for Triceratops. Boah! <laughs> Whipping the Triceratops down. Okie dokie, coming in next for Sunlight Rabbit, we have got a Patasaurus. Um, we didn't really see this Apatosaurus at his best in round one. It was mainly the uh, Triceratops doing all the work. But it's going to have to do something here. Otherwise, we're going to see some Dino Tector, and we could see some Ultimate Leaf, and then Sunlight Rabbit will be in trouble. But a tie will be lethal for the uh, Parrot. And, well, that, that's even better. That's a hit. And down goes Paris Arola, Paris Dino Tector. Right, coming in next for Raybo, we have got an Alpha Rajasaurus. One of the weirder looking uh, alpha dinosaurs, if i got to be honest. <laughs> hmm. This match could really swing either way here. Because I don't see any either team having a glaring advantage. And both of our guys have super awakened dinosaurs in third. Super Anki Ceratops for Sunlight Rabbit and Super Fairy for Raybone. So... This could go either way. This really could go either way. Hey, it might even be a draw again. Move breaker there, nullifying the moves of the uh, Patasaurus. It's another tie. But this Patasaurus is tie defense type, so... Keep the ties coming. And that's a big shot that's going to be from the Patasaurus. Whipping up that tail. Whoa! Electro Launcher. Pew! Look at that. Ooh. Deathfire has been triggered. Now things get interesting. And he gets the Deathfire. It is the first Deathfire of this tournament. And I'm pretty certain it will not be the last. And that will put Raybo back in the lead. That could be a massive hit there. Oh no! Blech! <laughs> Down goes a Patasaurus. Right, coming in third for Sunlight Rabbit, we have got the Ankyceratops. Super Ankyceratops. Praise him, worship him, loathe him. We all love Ankyceratops. Now, the Radosaurus is on really low health, so a tie will be lethal for it. Okay, that'll do. That's a hit. Down goes Ankyceratops. Here comes Lightning Strike again. 
This has been a very shocking encounter so far for Raybone. <laughs> oh, now we get now we get interested because both of our guys have the awake mode set on three, so they'll activate at the same time. Right, coming in for Raybone's third dino, we got Super Ferrazinosaurus. Um, no secret moves, which is gonna be which is an interesting choice. Bum, 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 bum. Now, this is where the wheels did come off a bit for Raybone in their first round matchup against Dexon. Oh, that's a tie. That's another tie. Another tie. Nothing to separate them so far. Another tie. <laughs> Although I think the uh, fairy is taking less damage. Oh, gee, another tie. Oh my god, another tie. Another tie. What's happening? This is mental. It's another freaking tie. Oh, finally someone got a hit. And it's Sunlight Rabbit getting the hit. A crit. And a Tappy Jara dive. And I think after about nine ties in a row, I think that's going to be curtains for Raybones. And it is. But look at, look at the damage the Yankee Ceratops took from all the ties. Lethal damage for Yankee Ceratops. And it is Sunlight Rabbit getting his second win of the tournament. And Raybone tasting defeat yet again. But Raybone will get a losing bonus point because Anki Ceratops' HP was below half. Right, on to our main event of this session now. Between two previous tournament winners from other people's tournaments. Okie dokie, this should be good. Ooh, in the red corner, representing Cryonova, we got the Allosaurus Atrox. Okay, neither of our guys have uh, lightning types, so no terrain advantages here. Cryonova was featured in the main event for the first round as well. Okay, in the blue corner, representing Dexin, we got Eucharaptor. Dexin got off to a winning start against Raybone in round one. Although, you know, it took them a while to get going. So I'm sure Crown Over will look at that and think they can get an early lead here. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. A win for Dexin will put them joint top with Black Beauty. In fact, a bonus point win. And they'll go top unanimously and that's a good start from Dexin. Now, you do want to finish top of your group because you that will, well, in theory, <laughs> give you an easier matchup in the last 32 round. I mean, I say in theory, it doesn't work like that in these tournaments, but <laughs> for the sake of it, we'll pretend it does. Tight. Another tight. And it's a crit from the Uteraptor. This is a strong start from Dexin in this matchup. Aloatrox looking a little bit confused here, should we say. And that is going to be lethal for the Atrox. Right, up next for Cryonova, we have got a Super Minus. We didn't really see much of this guy because he got absolutely battered by the Brachyceratox. But it's going to have to pull its weight here because Dexin has opened up a decent lead. It's got to stop Dexin getting hits here. Oh, that's another hit on the board. That's not good. Crown over in a bit of trouble here. Okay, there's a hit. At long last, Crownover strikes their first shot of the match and is not really a big one. 
That'll be a big one, though. With the galley rush to come as well. A Futaba cannon. That could be just what Crown Over needs to get back in this contest. Mm. Boosh. Oh, no. And this galley rush will be lethal for the Eucharaptor. Massive hit by Crown Over there. Well, it doesn't get easier for Crown Over because up next for Dexon, we've got Spinosaurus. Well, we've seen a lot of Spinos in this tournament and how effective they can be. It's going to be Sukumimus versus Spinosaurus. Dexon still will still have the slight lead. Crown over, Rassant trying to get again back into this contest, slowly but surely. That's a tie. No ocean panic, so no need to worry about that. That's another tie. I believe this Suko is crisis type, but that's a good hit there from Crown over. Another crit on the board. Never, oh, there's another tie. Oh, but it's Dexon getting that big hydro cutter. That's going to put him in the lead. And down goes Sukumimus. That's going to be lethal. Right. Coming in third for Crown Over, we got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Now, it's... It does have the type advantage, which Crown Over is going to need, but doesn't want to get hit by a crit because that crit is going to do a lot more damage than it normally will because that Spino is Heroic type. And for those of you that don't know, Heroic types, with Heroic types, their moves that lose to the opponent's crits are stronger. So in this case, that's the Spino's critical move. Oh, no, wait a minute. It is a lightning dinosaur, so Crown Over gets terrain advantage. I completely forgot. <laughs> so he gets the hit anyway. <laughs> I completely forgot that he had a lightning type. But there we go. I got the hit off anyway. Ooh, the Spino responds with a tragic sphere. I, I almost, it almost didn't occur to me that he had terrain advantage. Okay, that guarantees lethal for Spino. That is 100% lethal for Spino. I mean, do I need to generate the move? Yes, I do. Oh, he gets the hit anyway. It's a banana surprise. Lethal for the Spino. And both our guys are down to their last dinos. I completely forgot that the that, um, the Chasmosaurus was coming in. <laughs> uh, another blank stranger moment. Right, coming in third for Dexit. We have got Sorofagonax. The ace in the hole, as I like to call it. And it definitely delivered for Dexin in the first round, getting the win over Rainbow. Can it deliver again? Oh, that's a big firebomb! That's going to be a big damage dealing move there massive hit from Dexon is that going to be the killer blow for Crown over I, well no counter blitz either so that's not good that tie is it going to do it no but this tie will do it and it's Dexon's win 2 out of 2 for Dexon in this tournament and well, Crown Over slip into 0-2. No losing bonus point this time either. And that will conclude round two for group A. Right, we'll have a look at the table and we'll end the session. Right, that is how group A looks, ladies and gentlemen. We have Black Beauty top in the group with seven points, courtesy of their bonus point win over Asta. Then we have Dexin, Sunlight Rabbit, second place and third place on six points. Conciliatory passed in fourth place, getting that losing bonus point against Gold, who currently sits on three points. Then we have Crown Over still on the solitary losing bonus point. Raybone getting off the mark with that lo with their losing bonus point. And then poor old Aster rooted at the bottom with zero points. But yeah, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. 
And until next time, ta-ta.